Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So I had some people ask me how I can fit things on my motorcycle. So I figured since I just got home, I would go over what's currently on the motorcycle and talk about um, later on what's inside like my vest and my jacket and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing what I keep on my motorcycle, I figured I'd do this out here since there's more light instead of in the garage, then keep watching because that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so this is a Honda motorcycle. It's a 1300 cubic centimeter engine. It is a split engine. I have a, um, of course, a, a windshield, which keeps rain and shit off of me. But up here, I have a windshield um, visor thing, and I keep my riding glasses that are clear. Let me take things out as I do it. Hand lotion, because you never know. The case for the glasses. A flashlight that does work. You just can't see it. And a, a P for good luck. And a pressure gauge. Uh, there should be other stuff in here, but for some reason, I must have taken it out for when I took my bike apart last. I didn't put it back, so it's in, in there on the table. And that stays on the bike at all times. Now, next to where my keys are, this is a removable panel. In here, and this is a shaft-driven bike if you are curious, we have like the books and stuff for the motorcycle in here. And there should be a little toolkit here, but again, it's in there. So this usually, I keep like tools and stuff in here under. And then this just easily pops back on the bike. <clears throat> just so you know, there's like little clips in the front. You gotta get in there. Now, this saddlebag is warped. Uh, I don't know what happened. This bike was given, well, we bought it from somebody else I know. So if you look, there's like a gap here. So I don't keep a whole lot of stuff in this. And usually this is something I will put something in um, and then just like take it out when I get home. And it's got a drain hole in the bottom. So usually I put like liquids and stuff in it. Now these do have like light capabilities, but when we first got it, it was having problems with down again. It was having problems with the battery. Would you give me my darn key back? Damn. It had problems with power. So we unhooked all of the lights because that has lights. The tank or the trunk has lights. Everything has lights. So on this side, I keep like my bungee cords just in case I need to strap them down. Oh, my ID and a tag information, which shouldn't be in here. It should be in the trunk. So I'm going to keep this bag out. Okay, so underneath these, these out, is a rain poncho the wiring for the lights, and my rain suit. So this is um, an all-in-one suit. I gotta lose both of them, too. You know, short and both. I always have something missing. So, anyways, um, rain suit, jacket, and pants. If you look, there are stirrups on these that wrap around, like, the bottom of your shoes or your boots. So it keeps water out of your outfit. If it's gonna be, like, a short trip in the rain, I don't mind getting wet. But if it's going to be an extended trip in the rain, that's a big no for me. Alright, in the trunk, uh, we have a bunch of different things. I always keep at least one or two towels in here. There's some spider webs and baby spider. Underneath here are usually like the registrations for the vehicle, which is why I was wondering why this was in there. I'll have to look through it. 
Um, these are like writing gloves, towels, my spray sunscreen, SPF 50, a dryer sheet so it smells nice, Tic Tacs, a button that fell out of something, and these go on the vest I'm wearing to give added stuff. All right, I don't know. I'm trying to set you guys down here. Stay. Inside, like this little guy, I keep a bunch of different things. So I'm going to actually take these in the house and I will go over what is in this one and in this one inside when I go through like what's in my vest and, and whatnot. So close this. Then we get into my tank bag. Inside, let me zip this so I can get into the pockets. Inside the top piece, this is technically, uh, it's a rocket, uh, a Joe rocket bag. Uh, they make bigger ones than this. We have a bigger one than this. This is mine specifically. Inside here, we have hand sanitizer, hand lotion, and yes, another flashlight. When you drive a motorcycle, you can never have too many. This is supposed to be for a cell phone, but you know, my phone won't fit in there. Then in the front, we have not only one, but two kickstand things. The reason why there's a string on this is so that you can tie it on your handlebar. And then when you go to leave, instead of bending over to pick it up underneath your kickstand, you can just pull it up by the string. I also have a little miniature ta -da, sewing kit in here. Stay. A pad of paper, because you never know when you're gonna need to write stuff down. One pen two pens, and just because sometimes pens don't work, a pencil. We have a lighter, which you never know when you're gonna need one of these, a hair tie, a piece that broke off my keys, it's now on the ground, the rubber piece I've been looking for that goes on my cell phone thingy, and uh, one of those paper snap clips, you know, the ones that rip your hair out. So, so far, that's the front of the tank bag. Put all my goodies back in. And you never know when you're going to need a lighter when you're on the road. And it looks like I've, I've modified this one because the flame on it is humongous, which is fine. <laughs> we used to take the things off and modify them when I was a kid. And I'm going to go ahead and put this little rubber piece in here because I need to try and figure out a different method for hanging up my cell phone clip on the motorcycle. I'm going to try and get it up here so that I can record as I'm going on the road, like either in front or behind. Got to figure out what's going to be the safest way for my cell phone. Now we have the goodies on the inside. Usually there's more in here. I usually have a bottle of water, but today I didn't take one. I always have a paper towel, my sunglasses, face mask one and two. Why the fuck are you slowing down in front of my house, douchebag? The other guy just passed him too. I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Okay, and then I always keep a uh, thing around my vape just in case it wants to leak oil. I did go to the vape store today, so I have two new juices in here. A headband that is neon colored, not only for visibility, but um, to keep my hair out of my face. The garage door opener, and a bag of flash wipes. And that is the contents of this thing. Let's see thick. I'm going to throw these in here since I have to go through them and re-up things. Every once in a while, I'll redo these. So, the rest of this will be found on my big camera versus my phone after I put the motorcycle back in the garage. I will probably go in my room and film it because I have to take everything out of the jacket. This is a concealed weapons jacket, so there's all kinds of pockets in here. And I might as well put my helmet up. My This trunk will fit two helmets, two full-face helmets. I usually just stick this in the helmet. And if you look, the way it's designed is you put one that direction and you put the other one this direction. And yes, I can even take everything that's in here just to show you. <laughs> and now there's enough room in there for a full helmet. So I don't ever worry about having not having enough space because you can always just stuff everything in your helmet. And then it closes and locks. So that is everything. Oh, look, you can kind of see me on the motorcycle behind me. Hello. 
that's me. Um, I pack a lot of stuff on this bike. I can get two gallons of milk and stick them in the saddlebag that's kind of warped. I don't know why it's warped. I know that this bike had an accident before we got it. Um, but she hasn't had any issues since we've had her, uh, other than like a dead battery and a flat tire, which I fixed both of those. Thanks, am I? So, yeah, I will see you guys inside after I take this off and get the bike put up. And I will see you guys in a minute on a whole different device. Hey guys, so I am in my room. I don't know how much of me you can see. I'm putting this wrench down so you can see me because further back you can't see anything. So um, since I my riding jacket's back there, I went ahead and um, took my, my jeans and stuff off and let my hair down and I figured I would go through what's in my jacket first. I might even move a little closer to the camera, but these were in my other jacket. These are a whole bunch of like Lifesaver mints. I always have a tissue and this like lotion came out of the pocket of my other jacket. And of course I brought the clip in that I need to measure for my phone. Well, let's go in what's on this jacket. This is my motorcycle vest, the one that I've been sewing all the patches on. So we have my earbuds for my iPhone, a hairbrush that also has a mirror in it that folds out so I could you know, brush my hair on the go and it's compact and it folds up, which is nice. Then we have a bottle of hand sanitizer from e.l.f. and more mints, which I'm just going to stuff everything back in here. When I'm on the motorcycle, I take a smaller wallet than my normal wallet. I have a big XOXO wallet that's like this big. I don't carry that when I'm on the motorcycle. I carry this. This is a concealed weapons jacket, so this pocket on the inside is meant for a firearm but I do not have a concealed weapons license, so I cannot carry mine with me. So I keep this little itty bitty wallet that has everything in it that I need. And inside here, just in case I forget hand sanitizer, I have two little packets of Ofra Cosmetics hand sanitizer in here as well. And my medical cards are, and stuff are in here so that if I get into an accident, uh, also my license, you know, but my medical cards in here have on there the same information that's in my phone and the health thing on my phone. So it lets them know what my allergies are, what blood type I am, because if they give me the wrong blood, they can kill me instantly. Thanks for having a rare blood type. I love my parents for that. So I'm going to leave that out. On the inside of this one, because I have allergies really bad, I have a bunch of like tissues. I just kind of grab them out of the um, Puffs container box and leave several in my jacket at all times. In this pocket over here, we have a 91% alcohol and spray form. The little rubber piece that I need for that clip. And my knith that actually is shaped like a motorcycle. I'll have to zoom this in an editing so you can see the motorcycle design. I had somebody buy this for me because it's it looks like a motorcycle. When it's closed, you really kind of can't tell what it is. But when it's open, you can see. And then that's everything that was in this pocket. I can usually carry quite a bit more. It just depends on what I need and if I'm running out quick, like today I ran out quick. I didn't need a whole lot. I'm going to try and scooch closer. This is my pillow, by the way. I sleep with a pillow between my knees. Now, going over what's in these. This is a little Johnson & Johnson, like, hard case. And then this is a little Hello Kitty, like, change purse. We're going to go over this one first. So we have a hair tie eye drops, two Midol, a tied to go like stain removing pen, extra thread. In here we have bobby pins, little like rubber free um, like tiny hair ties and one of those hateful little clips that snaps that pulls your hair out. We have um, some earring backs in here that are clear and a couple of tiny band-aids. We have a nail file that's like a little polishing uh, square from Julep. We have my four leaf clover that somebody gave me. It's in like um, resin or uh, acrylic. Three more hair ties. We have a wad of the battery died. So we have a wad of white thread, which I do believe came off of like here, which probably I should put this in that little sewing kit. Why am I so lonely? Uh, I should probably throw it in the sewing kit that's on the, on the bike. Um, looks like three more hair ties a safety like one of those like 
safety versions of those like pins so just in case you know something rips while you're on the road and you need to fix your clothing really quick i have that i have a crystal nail file that broke this is from uh nail take um and the, the end of it where you hold it like broke off but it still works i have a band-aid a piece of cotton a toothpick i probably just need to clean all this stuff out anyways I have one, two, three, four, five bobby pins. Another one of those like hateful like clips that eat your hair. More like safety pins, two buttons, and a disgusting rubber band that I'm going to put aside so I can throw that out because it's sticky. So this is all that was in here. Again, like the safe the safety pins and the buttons, the I should probably, in the little thread thing, I should probably put that in my sewing kit, which is in my uh, tank bag. But I have two, four, six, seven hair ties that were in here. And you never know when you're going to need eye drops. And my doll is something that I used to always carry because you never know when you're out somewhere, like especially at like events. Um, girls would get their periods and stuff and um so it was always a good thing to have my doll i also used to have like a little miniature like pill thing that i carry that had ibuprofen tylenol um aleve and like allergy pills and benadryl because you never know when you're going to need benadryl and occasionally i will take this and clean it out and sanitize it really well and refill it with regular eye drops because again it's like saline solution so if you have an accident or something or you have a scraped skin you can just spray that on it and help clean it now, in this little case, I don't know if this had like gauze in it or some point. It's really old, but it's plastic. I keep a backup, which is an older driver's license in here so that, um, you know, I have at least a copy of a license on me just in case, like, say, I get thrown or my, my um, wallet gets misplaced or something. There's always other spots on the motorcycle. I have a couple of extra older licenses that I can I keep on it. Um, these are like Steri strip band-aids. I've got a bunch of like regular band-aids in here, which I probably need to go through and clean or remove and put the clean ones in there, like fresh ones. A toothpick sealed antiseptic squishy stuff that you use this um, to like clean areas. A pair of tweezers because you will never know when you need those. Earbuds or cotton buds. There should be another one in here. Yeah, there's another one in here. It's a tiny one. Um, more eye drops. This one is almost empty so I need to replace it a tampon because again you never know this is an antibacterial like wipe a another hair tie we have two iodine prep pads and a bunch of little alcohol prep pads two panty liners again if you don't have like a bandage for something and you need something to put over a wound these work really good for that and then some eucerin hand cream and that's everything that's in here some of these things like the band-aids and stuff i take out every so often so that there's always like fresh band-aids in here i don't keep like the same band-aids in here i will always take them out and put brand new ones in um, because I am allergic to latex, I have to make sure that my band-aids are latex free. And I used to have a pair of little baby like nail clippers in one of these and I can't seem to find them. So I'm gonna have to get a new pair of those because having nail clippers um, on a motorcycle is very handy. But it all just kind of goes back in and these little things like stay on the motorcycle. I could probably consolidate the things in here like the little sewing kit. I could move the buttons and safety pins and thread into that so that um, that takes up less stuff in here. I could take the like first aid stuff and the pills and whatnot out of here and put it in here. I could take the hair tie out of here and put it in here. Um, just little things like that. But you never know if you have an emergency and you need to stop band-aids, antiseptic wipes, iodine, eye drops, even pads like panty liners and stuff like that if you're in a motorcycle accident you'd be surprised at how effective those things are at covering a wound before you could get to wherever you need to go so when it comes to riding a motorcycle safety is always first always wear your gear make sure you're wearing pants make sure you have good boots or shoes on so your toes are not exposed you're going to get like things that kick up off the road like rocks and sand and bugs um so safety is always the key but always being prepared for the what ifs is always a good thing i keep mints on me for two things one is there sugar in them so that if my sugar crashes i can pop a mint in my mouth um if your mouth is dry you can break one in half and put it in your mouth and that will um allow for increased saliva production 
So if you're thirsty, it will help with that. If you're hungry, you can put one in. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be like a whole lot of nutrition, but it's going to give you something to keep you going just for a little while. The band-aids, again, having first aid stuff, um, you never know how uh, your clothing will malfunction while you're on the road. So keeping like extra buttons, safety pins, a little sewing kit is almost always a must for me because I have had like people like they'll wear like tank tops that are like spaghetti strap things like a bra and the strap itself will just like pop off and she's like walking around like this trying to keep her shirt from falling down. So I always keep things that I can do like emergency repairs and stuff with. Um, just keeping in mind that you never know what's going to happen and when you're on a motorcycle what you have on you is what could save your life so i always try and keep a little bit of everything on me so that i know i'm safe now i need to replace my toolkit back on the bike which has like wrenches and screwdrivers i have a an all-in-one like screwdriver kit that has six different heads on it so i can easily like switch the heads out and it's small and compact and the bits uh, the top bits like screw down into the actual handle of the device so it's handy um i always keep like tools that I would need to do minor repairs on my motorcycle, electrical tape, stuff like that. Um, but I took the electrical tape out of it to work on this thing not long ago. And I know where I put it. I just haven't put it back on the motorcycle. So I'm working on getting that, um, hooked up on like the trunk part of the bike so that maybe I can record from like over my shoulder kind of thing. I need to figure out logistics for that. Cause people ask me to record more motorcycle riding videos, even if it's just running into town or whatever. So I don't mind doing that. Um, so yeah, just figured I would cover some things. I know people have asked like, how, how do, how can I go to the grocery store on that motorcycle? How can I, um, do this, that, and the other, there is so much space on that bike. Not to mention I have the bitch seat and I have the rack on top of the trunk that I could easily strap things to. I could put an entire sleeping bag tent, um, air mattress, that kind of thing in like a bundle and then put it on the bitch seat. But the only thing is, is once there's something on the like second seat on the bike, it's hard to get the trunk open and closed because the trunk does open towards that seat. So that's something you need to keep in mind that you have to remove that stuff in order to open the trunk. The, um, you can get like inflatable pillows. You can go camping on an entire motorcycle. There's enough space in the empty saddlebag for like water and cooking supplies and food and stuff like that just on the one side. And then on the other side, there's still more room. So I could put like toiletries and like skivvies and socks and things like that in the other side. And then you have the trunk compartment that you can put like your cooking pots and pans, something that's convertible that you can use for many different things, your little bottle of soap to go wash up dishes or whatever depending on where you're at and if you can do something like that. Um, I use, you know, the uh, Dawn, you know, dishwashing liquid. So I know that it's not harmful or as harmful to the environment as a lot of the other like soaps and stuff are. You can also get like eco soaps and um, stuff like that that won't poison the groundwater or plant life or animals. So you can always do something like that. But you'd be surprised at how much stuff you can get on a motorcycle. Yes, it does weigh the motorcycle down. Yes, it does change the maneuverability of it at times, depending on how you distribute the weight, where you put it, that kind of stuff. So always keep that in mind when you're loading up a motorcycle, um, whether you're experienced or inexperienced in riding, um, weight distribution is, is definitely a thing. So anyways, I'm Rebecca Overset. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to show you what is on my motorcycle. And yeah, um, if you have any more questions, then feel free to ask because I will be more than happy to answer them. I do also have like winter riding gloves and stuff, but I'm in Florida, so very rarely do I ever need them, but they're like super heavy duty and they fit over the gloves that are on the motorcycle. So the other um, video is uploading off my phone right now, and then the rest of it is going to be on the Canon. So that's why there's like two different versions and that kind of stuff of the video. So. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are. Leave your questions down below and don't forget to wear your mask.